Well, howdy, y'all. Hunky T here. Now, I was uh, watching a show here last night, and I saw something that was extraordinarily disturbing and startling and worrisome. And I thought I'd best share it with y'all because this is happening in Canada right now. And just because it's in Canada doesn't mean it isn't everywhere because this is all part of what seems to be an agenda by all these governments of the world, America included. So y'all better watch this and be cautious about what's happening oh, in our world. So having said that, um, I need to, uh, this is the part that upset me here today very much. The member for Lanark. Hang on a second, before I get into this, um, This is huge. For those of you that have not seen this today, this is huge. And you better wake up to what's going on. And this is why you can no longer sit around and wait week for week for my live streams or look to other sites that you're going to. You've got to get involved right now on the ground. You've got to get in the faces of all these people that are acting as MPs for these service corporations. Because what this man is about to drop in front of you all right now is huge. Now you're seeing this evil being rolled out against we the people, and it is horrific. Here it is. Frontenac Kingston. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, my question is to the Premier. In my supplemental question yesterday, I asked this government if the people of Ontario should prepare for internment camps. In September, the federal government posted a call for expressions of interest for contractors to supply, provide, and manage quarantine isolation camps throughout every province and every territory in Canada. These quarantine isolation camps however, are not limited to people with COVID. Did you just hear that? Aside from the internment camps, okay? This is what we've all been looking at, those that have been paying attention for the last 15 years. We saw this stuff creeping up 10 years ago called infusion centers, I believe they were called, or fusion centers in the United States, okay? He used the word internment camp, and now he's talking about, is this only gonna be reg regulated to COVID-19 or are they going beyond it? but provide a wide latitude for many people to be detained. Surely this government is aware of the intentions to build these isolation camps from coast to coast. And my question to the Premier is, how many of these camps will be built? And how many people does this government expect to detain? Question. Government House Leader. Thank you, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, it is very true that when people leave the country and when they come back in that the uh, uh, the province is suggesting and uh, and the federal government in cooperation with the federal go government we are suggesting that people uh, isolate uh, themselves that has been a, a practice that has been very successful not only here in the province of ontario but across the guy's a liar he's lying flat out to everybody right now look at this man's face okay remember this man's face he's one of the first people that we're going to get subpoenaed and brought into a court okay this man is part of the system he's part of the evil that's going on in our country right now in ontario what more do you need to wake up internment camps are you getting this Wake up what is coming. These people are corrupt to the core. Every single one of them that are operating on, on behalf of this service corporation called the government of Ontario, we need to rally and get around these people and hold their feet to the fire. And I take my hat off to this man from Lennox Addington or out in Kingston Way who's done this, the independent man, incredible man. Sorry, I had to pop in here. This guy, this guy is a repugnant POS. Uh, across Canada and we will of course be redoubling our efforts to make sure that uh, the people of the province of Ontario uh, remain safe, Mr. S Mr. Speaker. So if the member is referring to the fact that uh, uh, that one of the public health policies is that when you return from a jurisdiction outside of the province of Ontario or from another country that you isolate yourself for uh, for two weeks, I would suggest uh, uh, that that has been a good, uh, a good policy that has been working. In fact, this House has been doing the same thing since we came back. We are working in cohorts to make sure that the Legislative Assembly can continue to operate. That's why we have two separate cohorts. Uh, Mr. Speaker, response and with the cooperation of the official opposition. That is why all members of the independents have been excluded from that cohort because we want them to be able to participate in debate. So we will continue to do everything in our power to make sure that this house continues, but that the people of the province of Ontario and Canada are kept safe. Really, you little. I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you. This guy, 
This guy is, is a candidate for a rope, okay? I believe my fellow men and women, once they are, are provided the information and the truth properly in a claim at a public courthouse, this guy's gonna be moved on right away, trust me. Someone in his, whoever this little POS is, whoever elected this guy, your, your writing needs to be all over this guy right now and get in his face. Did you hear what he said? That this has been working wonderfully all over the world, all this social distancing, all these masks and stuff. Look at that moron behind him there wearing the mask. Okay, the truth is out all over the mask. You do not wear the masks. I realize I'm preaching to the choir here, but we have got to find a way to stop all of this corruption. And the way that that happens, it's one question. I've told everybody that. The rules of civil procedure do not apply to we the people. And that's why the, the Michaels case there is so important. It, you don't have to care that it involves an estate act or an estate that, uh, surrounding Michael. It's the foundational action that's going on right now that is going to break these dams open and allow a guy like me to get access to that courthouse. Is that not what you want? Do you not want someone in my capacity, with my knowledge and my evidence, to move a claim in court against these people and stop this wrong and harm? Like that. That's what's going to happen. But it's not going to happen if our country keeps sitting on their asses around this world and doing nothing. I'm totally livid with what this POS has been speaking about here. Everything that's coming out of his mouth is nothing but a lie. Okay? And he's going to be held accountable for it. What he's doing here is no different than pulling a fire alarm, as I said before, in a theater. Or yelling fire in a, in a crowded theater with the lights off and there's no fire. Okay? There's no fire whatsoever. It's all lies. All lies. And this man that's about to follow up with it again, I love him. This is the man you need to reach out to. Email him. Tell him you're supporting him and everything that he does. And put him onto my website. That's the man that I will stand shoulder to shoulder with. And you notice how this jerk here that's talking, saying that that's why we've had to have set up these two cohorts, right? They've got two different groups of parliament holding, holding seating, holding sessions. That's ridiculous. And you hear the key word there? The independents have been kept out of this other one. This man that's speaking is an independent. That's why he's bringing this truth forward. And God bless him. The whole country needs to rally around him. Supplementary question. Again, uh, back to the Premier. Here's the RFP. And in the RFP, it uses clear... Just so you know, RFP stands for Request for Proposal. Okay? The government is putting out a request for proposal to all these other entities that are going to provide these services for these internment camps. Are you getting this? Are you getting this? Clear language to express that these caps, Premier, here's the RFP, and in the RFP it uses clear language to express that these caps can be used for a broad spectrum of people, not limited to travelers. Indeed, it doesn't even mention inter international travelers. It's just a broad latitude of people. And I'll send over the copy of the RFP after. So your government is, must be in negotiations, negotiations and aware of these plans to potentially detain and isolate citizens and residents of our country and our province. So, Speaker, to the Premier, where will these camps be built? How many people will be detained? And for what reason? Questions. For what reasons can people be kept in these isolation camps? And I'd like to, I'd like to have the Premier assure the people of Ontario. Member, take a seat. The next question. Isn't that nice, hey? Eh? That sack of you-know-what? He didn't bother answering any questions. He did not answer that question. But well, we're damn well gonna get it answered, okay? We're gonna... Now I hope you all realize that this isn't just some guy talking about something on the streets or in a YouTube video. This is in the House of Commons in Ontario where the, it's like the Senate or the, or the, the, the House in, in the United States. They are talking about it openly in the government to get internment camps to put dissidents in. This has happened many times in the past and it looks like it's all set to happen again. So if this does not upset y'all, you best check for a pulse because we are in deep crap. I think it's vitally important that we tell as many people as possible about this 
because if it's in Canada, it's in Europe, it's definitely in China, and it's come to America. So y'all better be wary. Y'all better share the hell out of this. Copy it, I don't care. I don't give a dang about hits or nothing. I think everybody's gotta see this and know what is in the works. Know what our enemy is and what we're facing. Anyway, y'all do with that what you will. You have a blessed day. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.